Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you as is usual. Um, so for this one we have quite an interesting one for you today. We're going to go to Mauritius and try a beer called Phoenix. So this will be my first ever Mauritian beer review and probably I don't know if I'll be able to do another one after this but hopefully at some point in the future we'll go back to Mauritius and do another beer review. But then as is usual with my beer reviews I'll take you through a brief history of the brewery, just tell you a little bit about where it's from. I'll also tell you a little bit about Mauritius as well because it's it's, uh, quite an, it's quite unusual to find a beer from here so I did a little bit of reading about the country as well but as I always say if you are simply just interested in the tasting of this beer then feel free to go on towards the latter part of the video and you will catch that particular segment and as always the brewery website is in the video description for you below. So just so you know exactly where Mauritius is, it's a little island nation that's about 1200 miles or 2000 kilometres off the coast of East Africa. It's actually quite close to the French island of Reunion to the east of Madagascar but it consists of the islands of Mauritius, Rodriguez, Agalega and St Brandon and apparently the country also claims sovereignty over the Chagos eh, archipelago and also the Tremelin island as well. But the capital city is Port Louis and this is on the island of Mauritius as well in the sort of northwestish corner if you like. The total population of the Republic of Mauritius is 1.3 million and there's apparently a mix of language uh, including Mauritian Creole, English and also French but apparently most official proceedings in the country are conducted in English although some of these can also be conducted in French as well and the population are apparently equally proficient in French and English. But the islands were originally a Dutch colony from 1638, although this colony was abandoned in the year 1710, only to be taken over by the French five years later. But the British took control of the islands in 1810 during the Napoleonic Wars, and they actually became an independent nation within the British Commonwealth in 1968 and then a republic in 1992, although they did remain a member of the British Commonwealth, but they're also a member of the Francophonie as well, which I believe is the sort of French Commonwealth, if you like, the sort of similar idea kind of group of all the francophone nations but today their economy is actually quite diverse back then back when they were becoming independent they were largely a sort of agricultural based economy but today their economy is quite diverse so you can get a lot of sugar tourism textiles financial services information technology and renewable energy these all play an important role in the Mauritian economy but to tell you now about the brewery itself the Phoenix brewery is actually located in the town of Phoenix in Mauritius obviously where it takes its name from but the parent company of this brewery is Phoenix Beverages and this was born out of a merger of the Phoenix Camp Minerals and the Mauritius Brewery Limited. So the brewery is located near the roundabout at Pont Fer in Phoenix and this roundabout apparently is affectionately known by the locals as the Beer Roundabout and, the, and this is just basically due to the fact that the site of the brewery is quite distinctive if you like, it's a bit of a local landmark. But the Mauritius brewery was actually incorporated in 1961 and the Phoenix beer was launched on the 26th of August 1963 and it's since become the, the favourite beer of the Mauritians. But the shares of the Mauritius Brewery were put on the were listed on the stock exchange in 19, uh, 1963, and the brewery is apparently part of the Diageo Group today. So this will be why we can get it over here in Europe. But it looks really interesting. Just to list the other beers that you can get from Phoenix Beverages, you get Phoenix beer, this uh, obviously, which is this guy here, the Lager beer. They have the Phoenix Special Brew, which is just a slightly stronger version of that. They've got Blue Marlin, which is a premium beer, uh, and they have the, they have also have a Radler beer, which is called Phoenix Fresh as well. So you can get a couple of different beers from this brewery, but we'll get on to the tasting of this beer now. I'm quite looking forward to trying this one because I've read in quite a few places that for a macro lager, it is actually quite an interesting one. But I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the uh, at the label here. <coughs> Sorry about that, kind of recovering a little bit from a, a kind of throat infection if you like, but... As you can see here, it's got the nice red and white colours there, and it's got a phoenix in the background. It's got a few little symbols down here. It says World Selection. This beer apparently is quite uh, decorated, so all these little circles you can see down here, it says uh, gold, Grand Gold Medal 2007. It won the World Selection twice, obviously, because it's got two of these. And it says it won uh, the Bottled Lager Competition 
doesn't say what year that was actually but that looks like it's an Italian award maybe but it's quite a, a sort of decorated beer if you like this one so it should be quite an interesting one to try but as you can see it says the famous beer of Mauritius since 1963 so it should be a really interesting one for us to try there's the top label on it there and the bottle cap is quite nice as well I'll be definitely be keeping this bottle cap but let's get it out and get on with the tasting here as I mentioned to you it's a 5.5% lager beer and I'm quite really looking forward to trying this one so let's pop it open as you can see there and the bottle cap just kind of flew away there but a nice little bit of a smoky opening there so let's get this out and see how we get on here but Mauritius, when I was looking at the pictures of Mauritius, it seems like a really beautiful place. So I'll need to check it out sometime. I don't know how easy it is actually to travel down there, but maybe something to look at in the in the near future at some point, if you like, for a nice little holiday. Just check that this is sitting back properly so we're all good to go. So, as I said, a 5.5% lager beer. As you can see when I bring this guy out, it smells. I actually got a really nice kind of fresh sweet smell to it as I poured it out there but as you can see very very nice clear beer if I put my fingers behind that on the camera you can see my fingers quite clearly through this one it looks really really nice actually there was a kind of half finger of white head white frothy head but it's just kind of coming down to a very th sort of thin foamy layer just now but in terms of the aroma here it's quite sweet smelling as you would expect from a sort of macro lager but it's got quite a nice little bit of bready malt in there some kind of sharp grassy and citric aromas in the background from the hops I guess as well maybe just a little bit of herbal character to it as well but a lot as I say a lot of pale malt just a little bit of kind of sweetness to it and it's quite bready and doughy as well but the malt base <coughs> the malt base actually smells quite interesting there's perhaps just a tiny little bit of earthy character to it as well but we'll give it a taste and see how we get on here Very, yeah, very, very fresh beer, actually. But the malt base is actually quite sweet. As I say, there's quite a bit of bready character in this one. There's just a tiny little faint bit of caramel sweetness. There's a little bit of a kind of corny flavour to it as well. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah, just a little bit of a corny flavour to it as well, I would say, definitely. but it's very very fresh that's the thing I'm definitely noticing with this guy there's very little bitter character to this one actually it's just a very very faint hint of kind of a uh, grassy and floral character maybe just a little bit of citric mixed in at the end but it's very very faint it comes out more on the aftertaste than actually during the beer just on the sort of edges of the tongue at the back is where you're starting to get that kind of grassy bitterness but this one yeah as I say very light slightly sweet malt base with a little bit of caramel some kind of corn sweetness in there just on top of a bit of breadiness but there's not, as I say, there's not much hop character to this guy at all. Just a little faint hint of kind of floral aromatic and grassy character. Maybe just a little bit of citrus as well. But overall, it's quite a mild beer, actually. It does have a little bit of kind of uh, <coughs> a tang to the end of it. The aftertaste actually has quite a bit more flavour than the beer itself, which is quite interesting. But in terms of the mouthfeel of this guy very light bodied quite wet actually it's got a nice wet mouthfeel which makes it quite refreshing and that's obviously what they would want down in somewhere that's kind of as near the equator as Mauritius as it must be a very very hot country but it's got quite an active carbonation this one I think kind of comes in at the front of the tongue and just sort of rolls its way back and it, it actually aids in the aftertaste it helps bring out the sort of hoppy character a little bit more in the aftertaste I would say But yeah, it's quite easy drink. It's quite easy drinking, and very sessionable. You know, this is a beer. You know, you would want if you had a little hut on the beach or something. You would want to just grab one of these and go and sit out and sit and enjoy it. 
a very good beer for a sort of hot day, hot summer's day if you like. So if you want something, if you're in Mauritius and you get the tra chance to try this, I recommend you do. I'd be interested to try some of their stronger beers actually and see what these guys are like. But overall, in terms of a macro lager, it's a nice warm day sessionable beer and it's a bit unique compared to other lagers as well I think. You do find that when they've got different water sources and stuff. This guy perhaps per perhaps has a little bit of a minerally taste to it as well I think and that must just be the Mauritian water so you know if you do get the chance to try this guy definitely give it a go and see what you think you as I say you will find slightly different character with these macro laggers as you kind of go across the world but it's a nice sessionable sort of summer day beer so if you want something like that definitely give it a try but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my review of this beer and you've enjoyed my little kind of lesson I've given you about Mauritius as well. Hopefully I can go there in the future and have a little look at it and maybe drink this beer in its home environment. Maybe try it on draft as well actually would be quite interesting. But thanks again for watching my beer reviews. If you have tried this one yourself, please let me know in the comment section your own thoughts on it. The brewery website's in the video description if you want to go and find out a little bit more about the uh, the Phoenix Beverage Company. Very, very interesting company by the sounds of it. But thanks again for watching my beer reviews and please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. I do have some more beers from a couple of quite random countries over the next little while, so subscribe to the channel if you want to see those and I will catch you soon with another beer review. Cheers.